Oh man, I've completely bailed on you guys the past few weeks here, and I'm so sorry. And I've just needed some time to reevaluate uh, what I'm doing with this YouTube channel and trying to figure out is it a once a week channel or is it a once every second week? Maybe you guys can help me out by leaving a comment in the comment section below, see what you guys are interested in having me do, and we'll work on from there. Without any further ado, let's get started in today's vlog. Well, I haven't been in the water for a couple weeks, borderline three weeks, and so I figured I'm going to try and keep today's goals fairly simple. Out on the water, I just really wanted to get into get in the feeling of surfing the wave and trying to regain some confidence on the waves and, and try and keep the board in trim. So with that topic in mind, trim, what does it mean to keep the board in trim? And the way I understand it is there's actually four different elements to keeping the board in trim. You want to feel as though if you need to accelerate to keep the board on the wave, in the energy of the wave, that's keeping it in trim. So you're putting your weight forward on the board to accelerate it, putting your weight back on the board to break the board's speed and to slow it down so that you can again come higher up on the wave perhaps set yourself up for a cross step whatever but you're all it's all about a matter of accelerating decelerating that's keeping the board in trim but it's also a matter of making fine adjustments and trimming the board as you're going along a wave if you feel as though you're too uh, low down the wave you want to get back up higher up on the wave you have to sort of lean a little bit into the wave so you get the rails of the board to dig a little bit in and slow the board down and bring it back up the wave's face or if you want to sort of make fine adjustment of going further down the wave you're too high up on the face on the wave you're going down the line you want to put the board you want to start trimming it and getting it back down the wave again back down the energy of the wave and that's kind of like carving in a sense but the difference is when you're trying to carve a board by leaning into the wave if you're just leaning into the wave and expecting the board to turn the rails of the board are going to dig in it's going to slow down and you're going to lose your balance and wipe out so that would be a good example of, of like right here for example you can see right here i completely completely watched this turn here because i didn't have my weight far enough back on the board so when i went to lean into the into the rails uh, they dug into the side of the wave i was trying to trim the board trying to carve the wave just by trimming the board without getting my weight far enough back and so the nose of the board wasn't high enough out of the water which caused the board to just dig into the wave i lost my balance i wiped out and that was my goal is for today is just to try and figure out how i can keep the board in trim so this is what it's all about sometimes surfing is just a matter of keeping the board in trim and that's kind of what it's all about too when they're long boarding the whole idea of cross stepping is to actually keep your board in trim if you can feel as though you're losing the wave, you want to get your, again, the accelerator on a longboard isn't always enough just to lean forward. You have to get the, your weight forward on the board. So the whole idea of cross-stepping to keep the board in, in trim and on the energy of the wave so you're still surfing. That's the whole idea. And I love, this is what I love about longboarding, about surfing. It's such an art. Finding trim, trimming the board, staying in the pocket and the energy of the wave. It's all the, the this is what's so elegant about surfing and longboarding and uh, this this is my passion so today's goal i think achieved it i hope i was able to boil it all down and explain it in a fairly basic way so that uh, you understood what i was trying to the message i was trying to get across and uh if you've enjoyed these vlogs then please like i said before every single time please be sure to support the channel by just pressing subscribe uh you know just hit subscribe uh, hit notifications, give the thumbs up, and uh, let's get forward on the YouTube algorithm. You guys have an awesome week. We'll see you guys all next week. Thanks for tuning in. You.